guys, it's Haley, and I'm back with another video. So this is going to be a haul video um, from Hobby Lobby, and it is. I also ordered some more books online, which I will show you. Um, but firstly, I want to show you this work in progress. This is a journal pouch um, for my friend Caitlin. She's the one that sent me um, the little pink package in one of my last videos, and I had you know, un unboxed it because I don't, I don't want to like unbox and do just like happy mail, but it's, she wasn't, she's not someone I met from YouTube. She's not like a crafty friend. She's like my real life friend or whatever. Just like how I did my dad's, the package my dad sent me. Does that make sense? I just, anyway. So in that video, I also showed the journal pouch I made my gammy, and she said it was really pretty. And I was like, well, would you like me to make you one? Because in my first few videos, I think they were like my very first videos, were showing the um, Midori, uh, Fodori, Traveler's Journal style cover and insert, junk journal insert that I made her. And she was like, yeah, would you know, would you mind doing that? And she offered to pay me. I was like, yeah, no, no, no. She had just sent me a package of stuff. I'm not letting her pay me. Anyway, um, yes, I had been, I have been gone not last weekend, but the weekend before I was just spending a ton of time with my fiance. That was Memorial Day weekend. And yeah, we were just hanging out and yeah. And then Towards the end of last week, I was starting to feel a little bit tired, and by like Thursday night and Friday, I was starting down the hill of uh, not getting out of bed, and I worked on this, and that's how I got all the hand stitching done. I finished the last bit this morning, and I ended up sleeping like 36 hours between Sunday and Monday, so I had a little episode, but... I'm back now and everything's fine and it was nice just to like take a step away and kind of reflect on things and just laugh <laughs> like this is is this real is this what people do so yeah any though this is the work in progress I am going to well I showed her like four or five different options of some different trims that I um, want to add here. I have like a bobble trim, like this kind of gold trim. I have um, a different kind of lace, etc. cetera. Um, this one, this is, so she had picked this fabric out from a some fabric scraps I had, but I only had this one piece of it and this was the largest piece of it. And then this I had, that is the scarf I showed you in sort of, in the sort of like upcycling fabrics and clothes for crafting that video, which coincidentally was from Hobby Lobby, but <clears throat> my mom had given it to me. So that's what I did for the lining. And then on Thursday, I went ahead Thursday morning, I went ahead and went to Hobby Lobby because I have been saving up my Hobby Lobby gift cards. I had three totaling $125 and I spent like right at 60, like $60 and change. So I still can go on another haul, but it's pretty, it's not far, but it's kind of far from my house. And my car is super old and it's because I never drive and it's like, I never drive, but I don't want to drive it, but it's a conundrum, but cars lose value. They're not like homes. It's not like if you buy a car and don't drive it much, it's going to be worth the same amount. Even if you bought a car, put it in the driveway, parked it in your garage and never drove it, it's going to lose value. So that's why we have been putting off or I have been putting off buying a new car, but now our, you know, like good car, new car, Patrick's truck, whoops, is getting older as well. And we need to have reliable vehicles. So in saying that on Thursday morning, when I went to Hobby Lobby, I was um, leaving Hobby Lobby. I was in the turn lane getting ready to hop on the on-ramp to the freeway and head home. And my car died in the turning lane. Luckily, um, I do have AAA 
and I have uh, like four or five free toes a year or free calls like anyway but luckily um, right when I had stopped some firemen had like passed me and gone to some call and it was really short they were only gone like 10 minutes and on their way back the smaller truck pulled up behind me and he waved like the big red fire truck down so they were blocking the other lane and like five of the firemen guys got out of the big truck and pushed me to the gas station and um, then my fiance came and because I had the dogs with me and picked me and the dogs up and the tow truck came for free and took my car in they said what the problem was was uh, the wiring that goes to the ignition but I was driving it wasn't anyway but it was fixed and it was only like $200 so yeah still need to get a new car I think we're going to get like a three to seven year old sedan either like Honda or Toyota good car they last a long time they retain their value and I'll drive the older truck which is Pat's Toyota Tundra and then he can take the nice car to work we'll sell my Subaru and my BMW that has been sitting there for years like a freaking hillbilly we're gonna sell also so yeah and that's what happened Thursday morning after I went to Hobby Lobby so now back to what I actually got there I got this fabric which is a heavier between like a denim like it's like a light denim material and it's like the nicest material I got aside from these which these little appliques are actually a a whole fabric it's like eyelet fabric you know like eyelet is usually like a cotton linen with um, you know different holes and patterns cut out and lace is lace it's a different material so I have I got three fabrics that were half off one of them being this and one that was on super clearance that was three dollars a yard and that was this which is beautiful <laughs> and um yeah so I got a full yard of this this is the only fabric I got a full yard of I did this basically the same as my gammies she had picked out this it matched great with this and I think it looks pretty good especially yeah and instead of you know last time I did the bucket of the pouch and then I sewed the flap to the inside you know like this and then I stitched over it with crochet well this time I put it in between the two layers and yeah like the lining and the outside so that looks much nicer um, I took this took Jesus I took this scallop uh, lace it's like lint on it oh that's fabric anyway I took this lace and I followed the pattern you see um, there's like a scallop along the top and I whip stitched it there and then I followed the scallop pattern on the bottom and that's how I hand stitched it all around this is just some of that um, elastic that a lot of people use as like planner bands or even now people some are using them as hair bands and they will come with like this fabric and a little knot on the end anyway I have a roll of it from Wally World I covered the connection with an applique there she liked this applique and then I have just this little vintage rose button that I have overly securely sewed on there and I have texted her some pictures of some new just different a bunch of like trims and things that we could add right here so any hoozle that is that let's get on to the haulage I'll show you my Hobby Lobby stuff first so I did get just a couple remnants and things this was on clearance um, this is some merchant 41 this really pretty look how cute that trim is it's a ruffle trim 
Love it. It was on clearance for 99 cents and I got both of them. I got this little remnant. It was 67 cents. It's really pretty and it's a very wide lace piece and it's the perfect size large enough for a journal cover or page. Look how pretty that is. Beautimus, 67 cents. I think yes, especially because remember I bought all of this with gift cards. And then the remainder of this fabric. Let's see. I knew, oh yeah, I knew I had some other remnants. I got this one, 81 cents. And there's another, I was doing, I did something else with this. I think there's another piece of this. Or maybe it was just folded in thirds and that's why it was, yeah. Anyway, 81 cents. This is a really pretty fabric and I can use it for scraps or it is wide enough for a journal. I mean, look how pretty that is. 87 cents, are you kidding me? I got some random. I got this trim. It's like a natural, like, I don't know, a hemp almost looking woven braided piece. It was a quarter. I got, well, it's not in here and, oh wait, the. I got some of this and I'm going to be making some more of those like plasticky pouches or plastic envelopes that I told you guys about and I wanted to get some of this anyway and I happened to find it perf the perfect width in the remnants for 90 cents. It was meant to be. And finally... I got two charms. These are the last two things and then I'll show you the big fabric. I got these two different charms which were half off for my Alice in Wonderland journal. How pretty. Okay, the rest of the fabric. I showed you the large piece. Here is our pretty eyelet fabric. Look at that. Can you believe that was half off? Crazy. This was also half off. This is like in between lace and an eyelet or combo of the two. Look at that. Because this was in their spring fabrics. So pretty. Um, the fabric I used on Caitlin's journal, I got a full yard of. The rest of this, I got either half or quarter of a yard. And I think this is the last spring floral. And this is a full, nice, heavyweight lace fabric. It's got some stretch to it. Really pretty. Really, really pretty lace fabric. All right. I don't even know what that is doing. Then you guys remember in my upcycling video, I showed you that, um, little pocket that my mom had made. And she was like, um, you know, maybe you can use this in your crafting. I'm pretty sure this is the same fabric and I love it. Of course I have one of my hair on here. Not intended for children's sleepwear. Hmm. Huh don't know why but it's a really pretty soft flannel I have some good ideas for this and then I got a whole bunch of different vintage calico fabrics this is the mm, should have, that would be like an eighth of a yard but I was supposed to get quarter yard hmm maybe I'm confusing myself um, then there's a quarter yard of this music note fabric, which I got it in white because I can coffee or tea dye it to make it cream, or if I need white, I can use the white one. Um, this one was on sale. This one was a half off one as well. 
and I got a quarter yard of that. I broke down and got some cactus. And speaking of that, I got a massive, like, unbelievable, a medium flat rate box and a large flat rate box packed with stuff. Um, the medium flat rate box is full of all different like cactus things. Um, and the other box has just all different types of stuff. There's, it's a lot of stuff from like Dollar Tree, um, from Target Dollar Spot, from Michael's Dollar Spot, from Hobby Lobby. And yeah, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll do a video and show everybody everything or, but anyway, this reminded me of it because one of the boxes had almost all cactus things in it. But yeah, and I got that Saturday, I think. Yeah. Look at this. Beautiful botanical Bloomin' Times, The Lost Gardens of American Poetry. This is a very soft cotton fabric. And then this, I have a, I think it's, is it Anna and something? I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I have a paper pad, Anna Griffin, I think it's Anna Griffin, a paper pad with this same kind of imagery on it, and I love it, and I believe this one was on sale as well. I got this beautiful fabric. Oh, I love it. I think this one is half a yard. I got half a yard of this, and I am in love for my bumblebee thing. I got this really pretty black and white. Again, I can dye it if I want or use it in black and white. I got this just classic, beautiful, favorite. Like, I'm pretty sure we had um, our corner chair was this exact fabric at my mom's house. The one in white and then she had the armchair in yellow. How pretty is this? ClassicCottons.com I got a really simple cream and pink plastic. I got this beautiful, beautiful botanical style butterflies and flowers fabric. And I've got a couple more. I didn't even realize this is a chintz fabric. I believe because it has that sheen and layer on top of it but yeah porcelain paisley I love the blue and white and it goes with um, the Mary Inglebright and finally this probably is my favorite look at this the ultimate forest fairy botanical buggy fun loveliness. I am obsessed with this. And this, I believe, was the most expensive fabric because it was like originally like $12.99 and then all of their cottons are 30% off. And then I only got half, half a yard, so I didn't get a full yard. So... So it was about... 455 yeah I remember it said 459 anyway so I got this and I love it and that is everything that I got at Hobby Lobby I'm gonna pause you real quick and I will show you my new books okay so two of the books I got are like repeats of books that I got before one of them totally on purpose, one I wasn't sure of, but yeah. So the first one, um, you guys know I got the, what in the what? The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, the Edith Holden book. Um, one of the first orders I got from them. I think I've ordered from them three times. But anyway, I ordered another copy because they had this, it was $6.56, and then there was a 15% off coupon, and I had would already have spent enough to get free shipping anyways. So, it was a no-brainer. And 
it was listed as a paperback. So I didn't even know I was getting a hardback because I wanted another copy of it just because I'd taken this one apart and I knew I love it and I knew I would hoard it and not use it if I didn't have another copy. So anyway, and these also have larger images. As you can see, the hardback is much larger than the paperback. So I got that. The other double that I got, um, if you guys remember, I got this, which I'm obsessed with. This is probably the Edith Holden and the Janet Marsh Nature Diaries are my two, my two favorites. And then right up next is this, which is the Encyclopedia of American Birds, because every page is just full of beautiful black and white images of birds. And then every few pages, you'll get this nice, like full bird image. Beautiful. And this one, look at that. Is the newest date is 1947. Well, we have another one. And it is quite a bit smaller in width and the sides are red like on one side weird and I was wondering if it was like another because sometimes encyclopedias well most of the time they will have like a through C and it will go letters like that but this book wasn't I think this might be just an older version and I love it. This is the 1944. So I think this one is the original and then the blue one might be like a remake plus. See how the writing's larger? Maybe that like a reprinting with larger words. Yeah, copyright 1944 and 1947. So this is like a reprint of this book. And yeah, so I'm going to sell one of these because I can't be a hoarder. Even though that would make me most happy in life. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, then I got kind of a semi-random thing. This is from the Flow Magazine, Flow Book. Uh line company and it's just a bunch of little fun things put on the kettle so yeah to check off what you're doing and you can tear the um, the page out and put it in your journal put it in your junk journal your traveler's notebook anything like that building a sand castle really fun and yeah, I don't see any writing already in it. So that was a great deal. It was just a few dollars, I believe. Then I got this, which is huge. It is about, here, let me grab Marula. just over 12 inches whoa there we go <laughs> just over uh, 12 inches by about eight and a half so it's a big book the New York Botanical Garden Illustrated Encyclopedia of Horticulture so of course I was very interested and this book was like uh, under five dollars I believe and it is filled with color and more importantly beautiful black and white horticulture images and i can't remember so there's a video online uh, i found it on pinterest um if you look for it how to like mattify paper and it's just with spray adhesive so yeah I can mattify those glossy color images. Look at 
this. Love it. And again, I'm getting closer to getting stuff done. I promise I'm going to be going through and pulling out a ton of books to sell. Maybe I'll sell this one. I don't know. Um, I have all of my, uh, like invoices saved. So I'll just, you know, charge what I paid and then shipping and pass them on. Okay. What else? I love, love, love the cover of this book. And I hate that you can't, you have no idea what's inside, but look, isn't that just like simple, perfect? Look at this little book. It's cute. I love it. And you would think it is filled with lots of black and white imagery. It's 1951. However, look at this. What is that? I like that. A field guide series. The genitalia. That's what I opened up to. I'm telling you, man. Okay, so it will have like the listing of the butterfly and then you go to the um, image in the book and there's mostly black and white and then some color. So it wasn't exactly what I was thinking of, but I really like the book and I love the cover. And these, like when you feel the writing, it feels like it's embossed or the writing, the font, the typed verbiage. Oh, and it has that beautiful, I'm obsessed with that old book smell. I don't care what anyone says. I like it. The Nature Library. Now this book I am pissed about because. So they had two copies of this. One was 1925 and then this one was marked 1917. So, and they were like the same price. I think there was like 10 cents different. I was like, well, duh, I'm going to get the older one. My stupid male lady. She shoved the, like this book and pulled up by shoving the package, which is one of those thin, like these, it was just in one of these. She shoved it in my mailbox, these old books because she didn't want to walk up to my door. Idiot. Anyway, I'm getting off topic again. So this one said 1917. And the copyrights are almost always perfect. Look at these. Look at this book. Oh my God, look at that book. However, these little a-holes, the, you have to go by the newest copyright date. That one's 1926. So technically the other one is older. But I love this book. I freaking love this book. And it is almost past copyright. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this book. And it smells so good. Oh man, I love this book. I am so very excited. Okay. I have two more. This one. I was worried it was a jacket, but it looked like it was the actual cover of this image because I just really like this image. But of course you could take the jacket off and use it, you know, put it over some heavy, heavy chipboard and make your own, use it as a cover because I love this cover. Actual cover of the book is basic. Familiar Garden Birds of America. And to be honest, the cover is what really like sealed the deal for me. But it's still a great book. There is clearly amazing imagery in here. Look at these. Love it. So it's mostly writing and there is the um, a few images here and there, but it's more informative about the birds. And then there are these color images, but the images, the images, the images that it does have are like beyond amazing. Like 
the book is worth these just black and white images to me. And then of course you can deglassify these. Look, won't these make, oh, love it, I love it. And finally, I don't know if I saved the best for last or not. What is this? Oh, Bush Brown, America's Garden Book. And I also love the cover on this. Isn't this just like a simple, classic looking book? I don't know. I just like it. I like it a lot. Copyright. The newest one. It's 1939, 52, and 58. And there is, which I'm so excited about these because, <clears throat> oh, I'll show you something real quick. Okay, so as you guys know, I've told you before, um, my dad originally went to school for um, landscape architecture, or I'm sorry, building architecture, and then switched to landscape, and he still does all of his drawings and things like this by hand, and he saved me. So my dad had given me a lot of his old <clears throat> drawings and stuff to use. And you guys know I'm making that Bobcat junk journal for him. And I'm going to scan some of these old ones to use in, uh, like as the background for things. Ooh, this one is from Gallardia. I know no one, unless you're from Oklahoma, will know what that is. But that's where, like, the Oklahoma Thunder players live and, like, the golf players and like the crazy rich people in Oklahoma live and then old money lives in Nichols Hills. Any who's old, my dad was doing jobs there. He's done jobs for the Mathis brothers, like done their house, old house, new house multiple times. I'm very proud of him. Any who's old, so that like the garden plots imagery and stuff like that, I'm very excited about because I will also be using some of that in my dad's book for backgrounds. Look, won't that be cool? Any hoozle. Like, look. Like, certain symbols mean different things, and yeah. I just think it's really cool. And then, of course, it's perfectly like yellowed and aged and there's tons of black and white images and botanical images and this book is just killer. And that my friends is the last thing in my haul. Um, my dad came to visit me when he was up here on Memorial Day weekend. He came Sunday. Yeah, he came Sunday. And he just stopped by my house. Um, and we just chatted for a while. I was showing him different things and stuff that I've been working on. And yeah. And he had brought that for me. So, what do you guys think of my haul? Do you guys like these, like, uber chatty videos? Or would you prefer me to just, like, get to the point show what I'm doing, etc. Um, uh, I'll, I'll remember, I will remember to put a timestamp at the bottom, uh, that shows like, um, showing the pouch from this time to this time. And, you know, Hobby Lobby hall starts here. Book hall starts here. Yeah. For, I think that way it's the best of both worlds. People don't want to hear me yak as much. They can skip to what they want to see. And the people the like chit chat can do so. So, yes, I have that. I like don't even know what to do with Happy Mail. Um, it's from Yalidi, and I'm going to obviously. I haven't even gone through all of it because there's that much. There's stuff from just the past few years um, from like all the cool stuff from Dollar Tree, Target Dollar Spot, just like little things here and there and then stuff she got at Hobby Lobby and um, she said she was just, I guess, went like went through her stash and it was things that she wasn't, you know, 
that she said that I would get some more use out of or whatever. And so, and some of it is, you know, more beginner stuff. Some of it is like brand new. I can't even believe like, why did you send this to me? I love it. It's beautiful. So yeah, I'm going to be, there will obviously be some more giveaways and I still have like two or three things left at least for the, from the for sure giveaway stuff from Jen. There's just a lot. So, um, if you guys have made it this far, I'm going to go ahead and do a little envelope giveaway in this. All you have to do is comment within the first 24 hours and live in the U S I will take the first five people and it's been over a month since I've done one of these. So even if you've won before, you are totally welcome to win again. Everyone can win once a month and, um, new people get dibs, if that makes sense. Like if, yeah. Anyway, so the comment is thank you for sharing because I just want to thank you guys for sharing with me, sharing your comments, sharing your ideas and thoughts about my videos. And thank you for just sharing your time with me. And thank you, Jin and Yalidi, for being so crazy generous to me. And I don't even know why, but I appreciate it. <laughs> and I'm very excited. I, I love it all. It is definitely not that. I'm just overwhelmed. And I don't know why. I just feel bad when people give me even gifts. I don't know why I do that. I just do. But thank you for sharing. If you guys are interested in receiving an envelope, the first five people, new people get dibs, US only, even if you've won before, you may play again. Well, and you can play every time if you want. And I keep a spreadsheet and you can win once a month. So like, even if you play every single video, I'll just go look on, cause I have a spreadsheet. I'll look on the spreadsheet. Oh, this is when they won last time. It's been 35 days. Okay. It's time for them to get another package. Does that sound right? Anyway, sorry for rambling. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite part of the haul is and kind of your ideas on the books and um, how you guys think I should do my little book selling, if I should put it straight to Etsy first or kind of share it on here first and then Etsy or I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Bye.